Hey guys, so today we just have a quick intro video to our skeletal system. In another video, I'm going to show you all the bones of the human body, but today is just an introduction to structure and function. So the functions of the skeletal system can be summarized into movement, protection, and support. So the skeletal system is going to give the body its shape, protect the vital internal organs, allow for movement, and store minerals and produce blood cells. So the structure, let's take a quick look at that. You know, we have cartilage, and that's part of our skeletal system, and that's going to serve protection for joints. We have a, an epiphysis, um, or several epiphyses, which are going to be the location of the red bone marrow. And then we have diaphysis, which is the location of the yellow bone marrow, or that's going to be sort of along the shaft of a long bone. We're looking at a long bone here. There's different types of bone. So if we take a closer look at that internal structure, we have spongy bone, compact bone, we have a medullary cavity, and we have an epiphyseal plate. And that's something that you guys might know as your growth plate. Now, uh, our spongy bone is going to be where the red marrow is. Our um, medullary cavity is going to contain yellow marrow, which is going to help us with um, fat storage. And um, our epiphyseal plate is going to be at the end of bones. Now let's talk about compact bone. So compact bone, also called cortical bone, is going to be dense bone where we have this bony matrix um, solidly filled with organic uh, substances and inorganic salts that only has tiny little spaces called lacunae that are going to have one bone cell, an osteocyte, inside them. Um, so within these uh, parts of the compact bone, the caniculi are going to be the canals that are going to connect the lacunae together. And then our lamellae are the layers uh, of the compact bone. And it's actually the compact part. Um, we have these special osteonic canals in the center that are going to connect to others um, by special uh, vessels. Um, and we, of course, we've got uh, nerves and veins in the center as well. And then, of course, the spaces are our lacunae, and there's one osteocyte per lacunae. All right, so let's talk about joints very briefly. So joints can be summarized as where the bone meets a bone. We've got different types of joints. So let's start with fibrous joints. These are going to have no movement whatsoever. So when you think about joints, you might think about how your bones move. These ones actually are just going to be in between bones that don't really move that much. So cranial sutures in between two bones of the skull. As we talk about these other joints, though, try to move your, these parts of the body so you can get a better idea of what the movement is that we're talking about. We have cartilaginous joints, which have limited movement movement, for example, between the vertebrae of different uh, parts of your spine, and then between the ribs and the sternum. We have synovial joints, which are going to allow for movement, and we have um, like the synovial capsule, synovial fluid to protect our joint. Um, we have what's called the bursa and the meniscus. So bursa is a fluid-filled sac in between things like your knees and your shoulders, and your meniscus is going to be a protective pad. Now we have ball and socket joints, which are going to provide the widest range of movement. And these are all types of synovial joints, by the way. So these will be in between your shoulder and your hip, so you can move that if you want. We have hinge joints, which are going to be movement in just one plane. Um, these are going to be between things like your elbow, your knee, and your phalanges. Those are finger bones. Your condyloid synovial joints are going to have movement in all planes, but no rotation. So these are going to be between metacarpals and phalanges, lower bones of your hand and your finger bones. There's gliding synovial joints, which are going to include sliding or twisting. That's going to be between the bones of the wrist. And saddle joints, which are going to be um, have a variety of movements between, like, for example, your carpal and your metacarpal of your thumb. We also have pivot joints, which are going to include rotation around a central axis, and that would be at like the proximal end of your radius and ulna. So those are the two bones in, below your elbow on your arm. So the skeletal system is going to have six basic components that we'll go over later. The skull, spine, uh, spinal column, thorax, pelvis, and the upper and lower extremities. Um, and we're going to have four different main types of bones, which will be long bones, short bones, flat, and irregular. So we'll review that in our next video. Thank you, guys.